it was brought to my attention, hi I'm Janice Switlow, that um, recently, today, yesterday, uh, three members of a provincial parliament of Ontario have refused to um, sing God Save the Queen uh, before, I guess it's once a month it's supposed to happen, uh, Premier Doug Ford uh, instituted this. And um, they're objecting, suggesting this is colonization and all sorts of different things. And I want to bring to your attention um, how misguided they are. Let's look at the facts. These are, these are elected members of Parliament of the province, the provincial province, members of the Legislative Assembly. They are there as part of the Ontario government, one of Her Majesty's governments. It doesn't matter what color your skin, whether you're purple, pink, or you know, red or yellow, this has got nothing to do with Indigenous nations. The fact that they look a certain way and come from a certain genetic background it, it is irrelevant. They're members of the provincial parliament. They are there solely for purposes of that Ontario government. And in fact, when we have a situation where the Trudeaus, Trudeau Senior and Trudeau Junior now, uh, appear to be setting the stage to remove the Queen, to establish a de facto republic whereby the Prime Minister is in essence king um, because of being able to control things, um, quite frankly, I find myself, uh, you know, almost applauding Doug, Premier Doug Ford for uh, reminding that the head of state is the queen and you know simply confirming that um, they're paying this respect and paying respect to the head of state. It's got nothing to do with indigenous nations and issues between indigenous nations and the crown. So this is a big red herring and it's it's you know quite frankly these people these three MPPs I, I, I don't believe they understand um, where they're at. I mean, to, to get to go into office, they either had to swear one or both of the oath of office and oath of allegiance. And so they're already swearing that either to Canada or the Queen or both. And this is no different than upholding that oath in order to serve in that Ontario government. I don't see what the issue is. Um, it's that is certainly not doing anything to benefit Indigenous nations. In fact, it's the contrary. The less, the more you move away from the Queen, the more the steps towards a republic, the more steps towards a de facto revolution uh, in, in Canada as against the Queen, the further and further away from treaty we get because the treaties are with the Crown, with the Queen. Uh, those must be preserved. So whether or not uh, Premier Doug Ford realizes it, uh, he's actually taken a step to strengthen the commitment to the Queen and as such strengthens the commitment to treaty. Uh, and now of course in, in Ontario there's not a lot of treaties, um, but what um, in those areas where there are no treaties, because of this step it commits him as well to to following the duty of fairness that says the Queen must enter into actual treaties with those um, nations she has not yet done so. So it's actually a beneficial step that was taken. It doesn't warrant um, this big attention and saying we refuse to, to sing this oath or be present to sing this uh, song. Um, so really pick your battles correctly. Know what you're talking about. Know what you're dealing with. And for those people who follow Indigenous issues on, in matters of nations, I suggest you ignore this one, and that's all I have to say.